Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. When the Minister of Justice introduced an amendment to the Victims' Rights Act in the year 2000, the Minister of Justice touted that the bill would require prosecutors to consult with victims and their families on key issues, on decisions with respect to whether or not to proceed with a charge and with respect to plea bargains. The Tamman family states that no such consultations took place. So I asked the Minister of Justice, why did the Minister fail to protect Crystal Tamman's family on both counts? The Honourable Attorney General. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, firstly, uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, we've decided uh, to take the third step in a process that we have uh, been working on subsequent to the, uh, the, uh, the getting the transcripts of the judicial comment to have a public inquiry because there are conflicting issues and conflicting statements with respect to uh, who talked to whom when, uh, Mr. Speaker. But I do want to point out that the Victim Rights Bill entitles and requires the prosecutor to consult with the registered families of the victim, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, in the cases that uh, I have uh, been privy to and had opportunity to, uh, to deal with, um, I Order. advise that has happened. The Honourable Member for Lac de Bonny. Because the family of Crystal Tamman indicated that they were being ignored during the process leading up to the trial. The Victims' Rights Act was not being followed the victims' families were being left out of the process, and that's contrary to the Victims' Rights Act. So I asked the Minister of Justice, why were the rights of the family of Crystal Tamman denied? The Honourable Attorney General. Uh, again, uh, Mr. Speaker, when I met, when I met with the uh, parents of Crystal Tamman in my office uh, about two weeks ago, and uh, explained to them the processes, etc., and they talked about their statement of uh, uh, their victim's uh, statement that they had provided uh, in the courtroom and talked about uh, issues relating to their discussions with the prosecutor, uh, Mr. Manouk. Uh, they talk I talked about the fact that I couldn't talk about specifics of a case because it was before the court. I suggest to the member that rather than turning this into a, uh, um, a political issue, we wait to see what the uh, what the, what the inquiry has to say about the facts of the case and move from there. We put in place the rights for victims to have the ability to be talked to by the prosecutor. Order. The Honourable Member for Lactabani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Crystal Tamman's mother wrote to the Justice Minister and she demanded to know why charges against Harvey Zink were stayed and why her family was left in the dark during all stages of the case. And any information requested of the minister was denied, Mr. Speaker. All information requested was denied. In the meantime, the interests of the criminal res were respected. Uh, going as far as ex escorting Harvey Zink out of the courtroom, shielding him from the media. So I asked the Minister of Justice, why has he given more rights to the criminal than rights to the victim? And secondly, this public inquiry, are they going to investigate the actions of this minister? The Honourable Attorney General. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This, uh, this inquiry will go as far as the, the judiciary wishes to go. Uh, again, when I met with the mother and father of the victim in my office uh, during the course of the case and indicated to them that I was precluded from talking about the specifics, we talked about the rights in general, we talked about the difficulties and how hard it is, how tragic it is uh, to, to be in the position that they were as parents. And uh, I was aware that the husband uh, was receiving assistance from the victim's rights, I believe. I was advised. And uh, the family told me how difficult it was to do the victim impact statement, that is, the parents. And I understand how difficult that is. And it's no easier today. And maybe it'll be no easier once the judicial inquiry comes down, but at least we'll have facts and answers to the public so that maybe it can improve a little bit. Order. 